Here's the situation. You've been given a list of volunteers to work a trade show. The list comes with the number and text in the same cell. What you need is a way to sum the numbers without having to take extra steps to separate them out from the text first. So let's take a look at this example. The column for volunteers is the one that I'm interested in. I need a total for all the R's and then a total for all the M's. So I need a formula that's first going to check the letter on the right and then add the appropriate numbers together on the left. So this is going to be an array formula. It's going to be a sum with an if then in the middle of it because I'm checking for conditions. I'm going to start by bringing my summary information that I'm interested in up to the top because as a smart manager I know time is money so I always want the bottom line on the top line. This could be a very long list and I don't want to have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see what's most important to me. So let's take a look at this first formula. See what it's doing. First it's checking the right side with the right formula. It's going through this array and the second argument right here, one, is telling it how many digits or characters to look at. So it's only looking at one. So it's going to pull whatever's on the far right over. If it equals what I have typed here in B8, then that's true. The second part here, the left formula, is basically doing the same thing on the other side with one exception, and, it's, and the exception is this right here that's checking for blanks. I have a blank row right here. A blank row is going to cause this formula to not work, so I have to put something in the blank row, so I'm going to put in a zero. If it's not blank, then it checks the entire array, and it brings back the two left digits. Now this double negative is going to turn that uh, what would normally be a true and false into a 1 for true and a 0 for false. Let me show you what I mean here. Here are the numbers that we have. You see we have 4, 3, 2, and even have put a 0 in for the blank, and 7, 6, 10. But right here is where it's getting multiplied by the 1's and the zeros that we converted. So the 4 is true because it is an R. So 1 times 4, the result is 4. This next one was a 3, but it's a 0 here because that's a false, which equals a 0. So a 0 times a 3 is 0. And that's how it comes up with this. So that's an R, that's an R, that's an R, that's an R. Let's check the R's. Uh, visually here. Here's an R, that's 4. I'll come down here to 6 because it's easier. 4 and 6 is 10. That's 10, that makes 20. That's 7, that makes 27. That works. This is the same formula. It's just referring to this cell over here. Um, for M's, let's check the M's. That's 3 and plus 2 is 5, plus 2 is 7. That works. To finish these both of these formulas off, you have to surround it by brackets by using the Control shift enter keystroke. Now I'm going to calculate the ratio, which is technically a very easy calculation, but I want it to look a certain way. This is what I want it to look like, 3.9 to 1. So let's look at this formula. Here's the ratio formula, which is simple, but the result could be uh, many digits carried out. And I only want to show, show one digit, or one decimal rather. So I'm going to round it off to 1. And then with this ampersand, I'm going to concatenate this little piece of text onto it, 2, 1. So whatever the answer is, it's going to calculate that number and then it's going to add 2, 1 to the end of it. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.